I realize it's prime time. And I realize hockey fans will be drawn to you no matter what. They're not going to watch the NBA. But there are others. I mean, luckily, I've got the two TV set up going on. But there are others that don't have that set up or are distracted by one game. And so they're just not going to, unless they're a hardcore hockey fan, going to be tuning in. You want to be drawing as many eyeballs as possible to this great story. And let me tell you this. If you are not a hockey fan, you're just a red, regular red-blooded American. You don't really like hockey. You would be drawn to the scene in Vegas because what they're doing is Circa de Soleil on ice before games. They're playing an up and down, up and down the ice, high-scoring 6-4 game. It's in Vegas. You would be drawn to watch that if that was on, if you weren't distracted by another sporting event. How can you not play that game at 5 o'clock Eastern? 6 o'clock Eastern. Play that game at 6 Eastern. It's 3 on the West Coast. Late afternoon, Stanley Cup, game number one, and then clear the deck, and that's when the NBA comes on at 9. It's not like the NBA played at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 o'clock, which totally screws up your day. Play it early. Give people the chance to watch that, digest that, check it out, and be hooked for the rest of the series. You couldn't have asked for a better game number one because it was up and down, a lot of offense, home team scores, goes crazy. The crowd is going bonkers. You have the Circa de Soleil pregame thing that Vegas does. I mean, it's the easiest way to draw people into the rest of the series, and yet you're putting it on against a game seven. If this was a hockey game seven against an NBA game one, maybe. But you're flipping it. You're asking non-hockey fans to check you out when you're a game one and the NBA is a game seven, an hour apart. And then after the Vegas pregame ceremony, which you might as well rededicate the Statue of Liberty it takes so long. Once you do that, you've already cut into that one hour window that you have ahead of basketball.